hey, check that. So here's how I built this email. So inside of the second step, uh, where we after we do recipients, we have this new email builder right here, and we click compose your email. And I'm just going to choose a blank template and send this out to you all. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put a logo at the top. So I'm going to grab that, put it at the top. I'm going to browse for my files. And I'm just going to grab this one. This one might be too small, but let's take a look. Uh, yeah, that one's too small. Let's see. Yeah, it's um, that one is not the one I want. Let's delete that. Let's pull a new one in. And we're going to go down and find a higher resolution version of that. Here we go. That one looks better. Select. There we go. Your best groove. Um, let's add something else to it now. Let's add a, um, a title. Actually, let's make this smaller. How do you make something smaller? Let's go pull this back. We can't. Uh, let's see. Auto width. There we go. There, that's better. Now here's a title block. New email builder out today. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. I'd like a little space after this. Maybe I can do that down here. This is padding. Um, I don't want padding. I want space after. Not sure. Let's do this. Let's go to content and put a spacer in here. There we go. Okay, we got some space. So new email builder out today. I'm going to go grab an image. So we keep every time we click on content, I'm going to go grab an image and just put the little... Uh, thumbnail up that I put on my live today. There we go. New email, new mail border, mail builder for Groove Mail. Okay. And again, I want some space between them. So I'm going to grab this, duplicate it, pull it down here. And then I wonder, ah, yes, we can change the height. So let's make it just 15. That is nice. All right. New email builder out today. Let's go add another section. Uh, let's go rows. And let's put uh, this in here. So we have three sections now. So we're going to say um, on this left section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little content in here. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to put a little ad in it, right? So I'm going to say paragraph. Put that inside there and say get groove answers fast now. Right. And again, I'm just putting stuff in here so you can see how it works. Get Groove Answers fast. Now, now I'm going to add a button and let's go grab a button. Where are my buttons? There we go. And put that under that text. We're going to click on the button and configure it. So this is going to go to Groove Answers Fast.com. It's going to open up a web page. And let's change the color to my branded color right there with saved, I think, at 5985E. Okay. And we also have text on the button. How do we change the text on buttons in here? Maybe we just click on it. Let's see if that works. Um, get groove answers fast now. Nope. see more there we go okay let's see inside here I want to put a note let's just put some content in here um, we'll put a title and we're just gonna say what can it do and then let's go over here again and grab a list you see how fast this is going and it's gonna look really nice um, okay so this is text uh, let's see the list style. This is nice. So we have different styles of lists. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, font weight, regular, size, text color, link color. 
Okay, let's, um, what I was looking, oh, I see we can do numbered lists as well. Okay, one, let's do it this way. One, um, it is a true drag and drop editor. Two, it integrates, it is integrated completely with Groove Mail. Three, it is available today. All right, Groove Mail. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we just have that in the middle there. Now, one of the things I wonder is when we have something like this, can we put something between them? Like, can we put something that's going to go content area background color? Oh, I see. That's the background for everything. Row background color. Okay, column background. Let's see what happens if we change this. Oh, that's just that column. Okay, so we're we're just changing column one right now. Um, what if I don't want that? I just go get rid of it like that. Uh, top, right, all sides. What is this? Let's do solid. I think what we did there, I'm not sure. Oh, we put spacing in. We're putting spacing in there. What I'm trying to find out is whether we can put, uh, you know, some lines in between those columns there. Uh, column background. Oh, that's that one. Content area. Let's see what happens when I change that. Not sure exactly what changed it. Okay, well, you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to go ahead over here, and I'm going to put another button in, another content. Let's put a uh, our social media icons in here. Obviously, this does not fit, and it doesn't. But let's go to Facebook.com, your best groove. Twitter.com, your, I uh, probably don't have one. Kevin Strite. Instagram, your best groove. LinkedIn. Kevin Strite. I don't even know if these are the right ones, but I'm going to turn it on. Oh, let's see. What is it doing here? Nice. Okay. And we are going to, yep, that's it. Okay, so we added that social media. Let's go add a, another divider. Uh, let's put a divider in here. And let's put a divider up here just so you can see it as well. Cool. All right, I'm going to put a footer down here. Let's go with rows. Um, and we're going to put just this in here at the, at the bottom, right? And over here, I'm going to put inside that left an image. I'm just going to put another icon in there, change image. Go over here, just for fun, let's just, for those of you that watch this, you'll click on the four, select. We're going to just put a four in there, and we're going to make it a link to uh, image link, open web page, send email, make a call, send SMS. Let's do send email, mail to Kevin at yourbestgroove.com. I checked it out. Here is my note. So apparently somebody can click on that and send me an email very quickly. So that's cool. And then over here, um, you know, maybe we would just put in a paragraph with some information about Kevin Strite, your best groove. Uh, Kevin at yourbestgroove.com and www.yourbestgroove.com. And then let's write justify those if we can. And yeah, there we go. Oh, I want to change the, the background on this. So let's see if I can change column background. I don't want the column background. Yeah, I do actually. Let's make that left column have an orange background and let's put some padding in it. That's kind of nice. Again, I'm not really trying to design a beautiful one. I just want you to see how it's designed, and that's it. Um, 
Yeah, Groove Answers Fast. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. The last thing I wanted to show you was an affiliate link. Um, let's let's do this. Let's put a little text um, right under here. And let's say, create your own thumbnails and graphics like above. Okay? And we're going to put that in center. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put a link on here, image link. And I'm going to use my affiliate link for click designs. And I'm going to go to click designs. By the way, if you're a Groove person, you should buy Groove Design Pro or uh, I forget what it's called exactly. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to do my affiliate links here just for fun because I don't have a Groove Design Pro link yet. So click designs, product index page, save. So there we go. We just created an email which you're gonna receive.